next speaker will be Wayne Swan. He's the existing or the sitting member for Lily. Thanks very much, Barry. Protecting our quality of life is really what we have to be about in our community. Whether it's uh, excessive uh, noise from trains or cars, whether it's protecting the quality of the air we breathe, the quality of the water, protecting our quality of life is what we have to do in urban communities in the 90s. And aircraft noise is a real problem for people north and south of the river. And it has been for a long period of time. And we all know that the, aircraft, that the airport will get busier over time. So we have to manage that noise much better than we currently do. Since I was elected the member for Lily a couple of years ago, I've set about working to have a plan to reduce aircraft noise, to reduce aircraft noise for all of the people in Brisbane, not just a few. Because we all know if we don't do that, we will have an even bigger problem on our hands in the years ahead. That's why Kevin Rudd and I, over 12 months ago, published a plan a plan to address some of the short-term issues and a plan to address some of the long-term issues. And we have been successful in addressing some of those short-term issues. Very practical things like getting a, a, um, a toll-free number for the airport so you can complain properly. Very practical things about getting steeper descent profiles. Very practical things about getting steeper takeoff profiles. All of those things matter a lot to people who are affected. And in the long term, we have to consider the future of the airport because the fact is that when that airport was built and located, when the decision was taken in, 19, in the late 1970s by the Fraser government, particularly to point it at the suburbs of Bulimba and Hawthorne, a decision was, which was taken which has had profound implications for many residents uh, on that side of the river and on this side of the river. And we have to consider the long-term future of the airport. I'll just make my position very clear in terms of the long-term future of the airport. No current no expansion of runway capacity at this airport. We need to begin the planning for the, for the 21st century, and that means planning for a future second airport for this city. That is absolutely critical. Otherwise, we'll be back here in the 21st century discussing an even more horrendous range of problems. Having said that, we also have to be aware that, there are, that the, the airport is a very, very important uh, feature of our economic development. Many people work at that airport. Many people derive their income from that airport. And when we're talking about this problem, we also need to be understanding of that fact as well. And for all of those reasons, for all of those reasons, we have to do better at controlling aircraft noise. We have to get the pilots to, to follow procedures. We have to get the Civil Aviation Authority to follow procedures. We have to get the airlines to get their noisy planes out of the air. If we can do all of those things simultaneously, we can bring relief to a lot of people in the short term. But in the long term, we have to plan for the future. And that is something that I'm determined to do as a Member of Parliament. Not just when it comes to aircraft noise, but when it comes to things like better public transport, when it comes to getting a busway system for Brisbane, when it comes to getting a railway to the airport. All of those things are about planning for the future. And it's in that context that aircraft noise is one of many features of improving our quality of life. And as a community, we have to be as vigilant on aircraft noise as we are about getting better public transport to the aircraft, about to the airport about getting cars off our road and so on. So don't just be seen as an absolutely single issue group. This is an issue which fit, fits into the problems that we face in South East Queensland because we in this area, north and south of the river, sit at the apex of the growth pressures of South East Queensland. That's why we have to do so much better on road planning, public transport and the control of aircraft noise. And I pledge to you that I will do that into the future as I believe I've done it in the past. Thank you.